So this video is a compliment to a paper written by me in the Canadian Medical Association Journal on the prescribing of cannabis by physicians. And I think the points that I'd like to make are that it's understandable that physicians might be reluctant to prescribe cannabis because there is not a great deal of evidence about its effectiveness for many of the conditions we'd like to use it for or about its safety. And uh, those statements are true and they're partly a function of its legal status. Uh, it just hasn't been studied as well as many of the other drugs that we might otherwise prescribe and which line our pharmacy shelves. But I think there's an important um, flip side to this story. I think the, uh, the first point to make is that many of the traditional drugs that we might prescribe, and we prescribe every day, that um, come from pharmacies aren't as um, well supported by evidence as we might think. A good example of this is drugs for pain, drugs like opioids, drugs like anti-inflammatories. Um, we consider them evidence-based therapies, but they really haven't been studied and documented for many patients in a way that shows that their benefits offset their risks. That's my first point. The second point is that all drugs have toxicities, whether they are plant-based or they come from a pharmacy. And um, it's the case that the direct toxicities of drugs for pain, like OxyContin or fentanyl or anti-inflammatory drugs, uh, are simply much greater than, than the toxicities of cannabis. I think the point that I think physicians and perhaps patients can take away is you can make a case to um, prescribe cannabis to selected patients, especially when the patient tells you it works for them and when prescribing it allows the patient to reduce their use of other noxious drugs.